everybody, welcome to Miss Ferrado's Music. I'm Miss Ferrado, and today we're going to be going over Essential Elements, Book One, uh, page four, number five, at Piero's Door. Did I even say that right? You don't look this up. Piero. Piero. It says a Piero is a stock male character in French pantomime. With a sad white painted face. So this is like a clown situation? Like mimes? But it's French. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the French are screaming at me right now. Well, if you look at the piano part here, it's definitely French because they're playing French folk song in the background. So. Something about knocking on a sad clown's door. Anywho, so let's talk about what you need to do in number five in order to make it successful for you. First thing that I notice when I'm looking at this is that the rhythm is different. It's almost as if the book is trying to mess you up. But really, you've only had one rhythm so far, and in numbers two, three, and four, it's been exactly the same this entire time. So. It's time to mix it up. You know it's a good thing to do during this time? Clap and flap. I'm sorry. Fancy tree. So let's clap and flap this together, shall we? I'm gonna actually put on the metronome at 75 beats per minute while we do this, since we'll be playing it with the metronome as well. One, two, Ready, end. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's it. Another thing you can do is you can clap and flap, and instead of counting the beat like I was, like one, two, three, four, how many beats are going to be in that measure, you can also do the same thing with saying the note names out loud. So D, 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 A, D, so on and so forth. But other than that, really, this is not terribly difficult. As long as you follow the directions in numbers two, three, and four, you are more than ready to do this. Just make sure you're focusing. If you need to go slower than 75 beats per minute, then go slower. There's nothing wrong with it, and you can always build up to 75 beats per minute. So let's go ahead and do this with the metronome and all of the instruments. I will do this pizzicato and arco for everybody, depending on what your private teacher or your orchestra teacher are doing. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, violins. Remember, before we start, make sure you're holding your instrument correctly, and we're going to do pizzicato first at 75 beats per minute. Ready, one, two, ready, play. with the bow, make sure you are doing the bow hold that your teacher taught you to do. So let's go ahead and start that. Ready? One, two, ready, play. start yours pizzicato. Same thing as the violins, make sure it comes up under your jaw and the tabletop. And I'm going to hold my viola right up here on the upper bout so I have support and look how nice and straight my wrist is staying. Look at it. So let's do this pizzicato at 75 beats per minute. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Now let's do that same thing with the bow. You can keep your hand here at the position, get your bow, and make sure you're doing the bow hold that your teacher taught you to do. Let's go ahead and start this with the bow. Ready? One, two, 
Ready? One, two, ready, play. start yours pizzicato first. I'm going to have my hand resting up here on the upper bout of the cello. I'm going to take my L. I'm going to put it about right here with just the tip of my thumb right on the edge of the fingerboard there so that I can play my D and my A strings. So let's go ahead and do this pizzicato at 75 beats per minute. Ready? One, two, ready, play. with the bow. Make sure when you're doing this with the bow that you're doing the bow hold that your teacher taught you to do. Remember I'm using a pinky cup because I'm a violinist and I don't want to accidentally do the wrong bow hold. So let's go ahead and start this with the bow. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Our pizzicato L, make sure it's just the tip of your thumb on the edge here so you have enough room to go over eventually. So just train yourself to do that. Your whole thumb doesn't need to be in there. It's just the tip of your thumb. So let's go ahead and start this pizzicato. We're going to go 75 beat per minute. Ready? One, two, ready, play. Thing, but let's do it with the bow. Remember, I'm using a French bow and I also have a pinky cup on here because I'm a violinist and I want to make sure I have the correct bow hold. So that's what this black thing is right here. Uh, your teacher might have you do a pinky cup or something similar. I just do that for myself and I do usually have my students do that as well. So let's go ahead and start this at 75 beats per minute with the bow. Ready? One, two, ready. questions for me and you're one of my students, please make sure you ask me if you're not understanding something. And if you are not one of my students, but you have a private teacher or an orchestra teacher, make sure you're asking them questions as well. I hope this helped. Have a good day. Bye.